Black Swan is finally here, and you know what that means. It's time to pull Yanshin again. But I have a dream, that one day, everyone may get all of their waifus and husbandos. A dream that every 50-50 is won. You. What? No! God damn it, Holyverse! This took me so many pulls too. Finally! Honestly, I'm more relieved than happy. There's just one tiny problem. I have no idea how I'm going to get her like him. Here goes nothing. Well, that's to be expected, considering I was at zero pity. I guess I'll go complete 2.0 for some jades. And I'm done. I got 20 pulls. And I'm broke again. Okay, this is my last resort. I haven't claimed any achievements since 1.2. I'm hoping to get at least 865? That's it? <sighs> Let's just get this over with. Last pull. No f way! Please, Hoyoverse, please let me win the 75-25. Nihility? Yes! I can't believe it! On the very last pull. Let's f go! I got very unlucky on the character banner, but this more than makes up for that. Alright, let's see how good Black Swan actually is. This is my favorite team for her. First, we have Kafka. Most of Black Swan's damage comes from an Arcana, which Kafka can prop with her skill and ultimate. Kafka can also take advantage of all the debuffs that Black Swan applies. Next is Ramei. She's an incredible support in double DPS teams, providing damage percent, speed, all type res pan, break effect, and break efficiency buffs. On top of all that, her break extension mechanic synergizes perfectly with DOT characters. That's because enemies take DOT when they first try to recover, and again when they actually recover. Last but not least, our resident scaredy cat gives the entire team more attack and energy. It's a bit difficult to quantify just how much Black Swan is contributing. Arcana accounts for roughly 50% of the DOT damage taken by enemies from what I can see. However, I'm not sure how much more damage Kafka is doing thanks to Black Swan's debuffs. What is very apparent though is that Black Swan makes this team much stronger compared to other DOT characters such as Senpo and Luka. I'd say this team feels on par if not better than my best Jin Liu team. That's saying a lot because that team used to be miles ahead of any other team I could make. This team also performs exceptionally well in pure fiction because of all the blast and AoE damage. I couldn't quite finish in zero cycles, but one cycle is still pretty impressive, and I'm very glad I decided to pull for Black Swan. Now let's see how much damage she can do in Golden Gears Conundrum 12. The big difference here is that Arcana stacks way faster due to the Nihility Path Resonance and Blessings. Not to mention the overall DOT damage increase from Blessings and the Dice effect. I only did one run and was able to hit for over a million during this battle. If I slow the video down, we can see that Arcana accounted for over 70% of that. That is not balanced. It happened once more against the final boss. I would show more, but I got combo to death. Just conundrum 12 things. Anyways, I'm very happy with Black Swan's performance. Let me know your thoughts on Black Swan and until next time, peace.